Car Wars 6th edition. I'm here with Jimmy. How's it going? I'm Hunter. And we're going to be building cars today, as promised. Uh, so we're, we're going to do a couple cars actually today. Actually, probably three cars, because the first one we're going to kind of do together with you guys and kind of walk you through the different steps on how to build a car, uh, different mechanics on the point value, things like that. And then at the end, we'll go through and do two different cars, which we'll then use on, on another video. So that'll be fun. So first off, we need to let you guys uh, know how to build a car so you can help us later. So uh, what we've got is uh, we've got our, our base dashboard set up right here. So if you look down, uh, once we go to the top down camera, you can see we've got a dashboard that's set at uh, uh, speed two, 10 of everything. Now what we're gonna build today is a 16 point car. Yes. Um, so when you sit down to play a game, you choose the point value that you're gonna play at and everybody builds a car at that point value out of their own deck. Um, everyone should have the same decks to work with. Um, Hunter has, has got, still got his mixed up. I've separated mine out a bit so we can get going here. So first thing you do is you pick the point value. 16 is kind of a, a low mid value. Um, it's not it's not the buggies we played with in the five point race earlier yeah, on. Yeah, for comparison, we, twelve point we'd say is low value probably, and then five, the five right. points like super low value. Yeah, uh, basically anything under anything at twenty four points or less is a is a low point value game. Um, there's a break point uh, in the build where uh, at twenty four points and less you can't use any single item that is over five points. Uh, so no individual component can cost you more than five. If you go 25 points and higher, all bets are off. You can use the six, seven, eight point uh, equipment items on your car. Uh, it also has a break point of the, which damage deck you use for the lower point games, use a lower damage deck. So for 16 points, uh, we've got 16 build points for the equipment on our car. Uh, we also, the general rule of thumb is that you also take 25% of that, uh, which would be four, and that's how many armor you get on each side. So you can see our armor sliders here are set to four for each side. And that's the, the base armor that every car gets at a 16 point game uh, in a standard setup. Uh, we're also gonna have that many points uh, as a separate build pool for our crew and crew accessories. So, but for our car, let's start out with, uh, we need some weapons on our car, right? I mean, yeah, ostensibly, let's do it. So let's say, uh, first off, we want to, we'll take some good one shot weapons. So we've got a, a rocket, which we'll put uh, on this side of our car over here. And where the cards go on this area actually tells you what side of the car they're attached to. So like right now we're putting a rocket and we're putting it on our right side. So that will be, that arc will be the right arc of our car. Right. So uh, if you watch the video we did on Monday where I talk about the arcs and how this works, this will kind of make a little more sense. But uh, so the rocket is a, uh, uh, it's, it's standard rocket is the name. It costs three points. Uh, the line right below it tells the card type, so it is a weapon, a blast category weapon, um, which is uh, gives you some clues to what it does. Uh, you can see that it does one yellow die, two green dice, and one blue dice of damage. And then uh, there's some special text on it. Uh, what it says here is basically when you buy one rocket, it's got the asterisk on the cost because you get a second one for free. So we're going to put another one on the other side of the car. Uh, we can put it anywhere we want to. We can have them both on the same side. But for, for the purposes of this build, I think one rocket on each side is probably a good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, you also note that uh, most a lot of weapons have a special result on a wrench. So this one has an explosion result, which means if I roll a wrench when I fire that at somebody, they're going to lose a control when that weapon hits them. Uh, the last two things about it, it's got a text down here that's really small. It says one shot. So this is a single-use item. And then lastly, you've got a... Uh, damage marker that it can shows you can take one point of damage before it's destroyed. So if damage gets assigned to it, one point and that rocket's gone. So for three points of our 16, we've got a pair of one-shot rockets, one on each side of the car, uh, just to be able to have some uh, uh, ordnance out on the board. Yeah, it's a lot of damage potential for a low cost. Right. Uh, past that, how do you feel about fire, Hunter? Uh, I like fire when it's used on other people. Right, so, so uh, we got a flamethrower. Um, now, flamethrower is actually one of the weapons that has a range limit. Uh, it's got a range of two, which if you look at the uh, car measuring, the measuring tool here, uh, that's two car lengths, which is one of these measuring tools. So because it doesn't have a whole lot of range, I think what we want to do is uh, we'll discourage people from tailgating us. That seems right. Um, so we're going to take a flamethrower. We're going to put it right on the back of the car here. 
We'll just put them sideways just to keep it in frame, but generally you can... Yeah, you generally them. put them straight up and down. This is sideways just so you can see it uh, close up. But it's a flamethrower. It costs two. It is a fire weapon. Uh, it does one yellow die and two green dice of damage. On a wrench result, it's going to start a fire on the side of the car that it hits somebody on. Uh, the small text here says it is range two, and it can take two damage. Uh, so we are now at five build points. Five build points, so we have 16. What, 11 left. We got, um, we got 11 left. So I think maybe we should think about some defense. Yeah, I, I want to see some of the structure that you got over here. So uh, what a lot of people have seemed confused about is like we said the armor is a set value. You get four armor for a 16-point game. You're like, well, but I want to customize my armor. That's not how you do it in 6th edition. In 6th edition, you add extra structure to your cars. So everyone has four armor. But say... Um, Maybe we're going to be running into some things. Sure. Uh, so we're going to put a, a, a steel plate on the front of our car. And the steel plate, uh, this is a structure card. You can put one structure card on each side of your car, uh, but only one. There are a lot of different ones in the game uh, over the different expansions and everything. But this is a steel plate, a uh, standard steel plate. It costs two. Uh, and uh, it says, when attached to the side of your car, when attached to this side, add one yellow die to your defense roll. So this particular uh, piece of structure uh, adds a die if you're attacked on that side to your defense roll. Uh, it also can take two damage. Uh, now, we don't want to just be armored on the front. Sure. We, we want to have a little bit more defense on our other sides. So uh, what we're going to do for our sides is we're going to put some uh, light ceramic plate on our sides and on our rear. Now, these are also structure cards. They only cost one. Uh, they don't have any other special abilities, and they can take two damage. So you're, you're, you might be saying, well, how is this actually helping me? I don't, I don't understand. So the way that damage works uh, is all damage comes off your armor first. Uh, once you're out of armor, damage goes internal, and you take damage on, and you might have talked about this on Monday. Yeah, so essentially um, what will happen is, say I take four damage uh, from an attack. That would put my armor at zero on the front, if they were shooting at the front of my car. The next attack that goes into that, any more damage that would go into that, would hit based on a damage deck, which we have a card out here. You would draw a card at random, and on the on these cards, the first thing on each one that you take damage on is called structure, which would be these cards. Right. So let's say someone did two, one extra damage to me, and it hit the structure, we'd put a damage counter on Right. So you're going to draw one of these cards at random anytime your damage needs to go internal, and the entire damage deck, the first line on every card is structure, and it has no limit. So these structure cards are always going to take all the damage that goes internal before any other internal components start taking damage. So that is how they, they reinforce the defensiveness of your car in addition to the armor that you start with. Mm -hmm. So you can build a more defensive car by adding uh, larger pieces of structure onto it, some of which will even uh, increase your die rolls. Um, once a card takes amount of damage uh, equal to its, its rating here, it's gone, it gets flipped over, it's no longer in effect. So once that steel plate takes two damage, we're going to flip it over, and you're not going to get any of the, uh, the die rolls or anything else from it, and the damage will start going through to the rest of your internal components, which is something you don't really want. No, but it did save you some um, damage, that's a good thing. It did soak some of it up, and that's what structure is for. It's for soaking up those first hits of internal damage that get through your armor. Uh, so it is the way to make a more defensive car, you add structure underneath the armor. But I want a more offensive card. You want more offensive cards. So what do we have to work with here. We got one. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So five more points. We to got work five with. more points to work with. It's not a lot, but we can get some good stuff. Uh, uh, so, real quick, yeah. Chat wonders if there's a uh, concealed weapon. There are no concealed weapons. Uh, cars are built out in the public um, because we've got to be able to verify the points on them and everything. Um, there, we don't have anything like that in the game at this time. Uh, Next thing we've got is uh, we want some, uh, we might make a, that might be something like you would do in a particular scenario where we would come up with a special rule for that scenario for it, um, but there's not just a, a card that says concealed weapon. Um, so we, we need, uh, we've got some offense on the sides, we've got uh, some deterrence from tailgating on the back, but we need something for the front, that yeah. we're pointing at the other people, oh, right? Yeah. Uh, how about a heavy machine gun? That sounds great. All right, so heavy machine guns. Uh, this is a heavy machine gun. It costs us three. It's a shred weapon, uh, which is the category. Um, you can see if it rolls a wrench result, it's going to do tire damage for any wrench result that's rolled. Mm -hmm. And that's always going to happen when you, when you block stuff. You typically block tire damage first. Um, 
It's going to roll one red, two yellows, and one white die, and it can take two damage. So that's a pretty good for, for a small, uh, for you know, low, medium point build. Mm -hmm. That's pr some pretty good offense on the front. Uh, now, what I would like to do probably, that gets us up to 13. We got three 13. more points. Uh, I'd like to get us maybe a two little more bit points. more. Two more points. Yeah. Oh, uh, we're doing 16. Oh, 16. Yeah, 16 three points. More points you're right. Um, I know math. So let's let's do this. Let's uh, say once those rockets are gone, we're going to need something for the sides. That's true. So we've got a couple uh, light recoilless rifles here. And I'm going to move these up just a little bit. I'll put, say, we'll put one on each side. I like that. So the light recoilless rifle, uh, you can see it is a one cost weapon. It's a slug weapon. Uh, it does two red dice and one point of damage. So Just that star, that black damage. star result is one, st when we roll the dice, the stars are the, the damage results that come up. Uh, so you, one is built into that weapon. It's just a punchier weapon in general, which is typical of slug weapons. Um, and then two, to that you'll add whatever you roll on two dice. Uh, so we were talking about the categories of weapons earlier. So slug typically has built in extra damage. Uh, the machine gun, which is a shred, typically Does tire uh, has a special effect of tire damage. Yeah, the flamethrower is a fire weapon. It typically will set things on fire. And the rockets are a blast weapon. They'll typically cause explosions and have you lose some control. Gotcha. Uh, so those are the, the general ideas of the category of weapons you're working with. Okay. Uh, we got one point left. Uh, do you think we need a second thing on the front? I like um, having a second thing on the front because I feel like that's where you're usually aiming most of the time. Right, so. and, you, and you, if you have both crew members, you get a shot with each of them. That's so you really, true. you want something else up there. Uh, one, let's see, one point for the front. Um, we've already got a machine gun up there. Uh, what do we have that's low point value we can throw on the front for a point? We could do another recoilless rifle potentially if we have one. Uh, we could, I think we use both light recoilless rifles oh, already and we're getting the high right. points. What about, so we could do something else on the front or we could do well, a, we could do, a do, can, we could do an accessory. Yeah, let's do an accessory. All right. Um, I like that. How about that? I like the targeting computer, maybe. Yeah, it sounds like it makes it better to shoot, so I'd like that as well. And so the targeting computer and accessories you do install on a particular side of your car. Uh, so we'll say we'll put this on our, our uh, left, our right side where the, uh, the gunner's probably sure. sitting. Uh, so this is an accessory card. It's worth one. It, uh, this does not affect f sidearms, so it's only the weapons in your car. And you may add a blue die to one of your attacks each round. So nice. basically awesome. the, the gunner gets a little, gets to, to one of the crew members gets to add one die to one blue die to their attack. And while that's on the, the right hand side of our car, it doesn't it can work for any weapon, right? It works for any weapon, but, but if, if right side but gets when hit. yeah, when uh, when you take damage, uh, especially once it goes internal, um, there are some cards that will say uh, you're accessory. looking to it'll damage an accessory. Okay. Uh, and so if they hit us on the right, they may damage the targeting targeting computer and destroy it. Good to know. So that is our, our car. Uh, we still have crude build. Oh, yeah. Um, now, there's one other type of card you don't see out here. I'm going to throw it out because we could have done this instead. Is uh, Say instead of that accessory, we wanted to put an upgrade on our car, like bumper spikes. Sure, um, as one does. This and Now, these uh, get installed on the car as a whole. They're not on a particular side. So you usually put them over with your crew because they don't live on one side of your car. They can't actually be uh, damaged that way. Uh, but this would say uh, when the front of your rear of your car is in a collision, you add uh, one damage to the collision damage dealt to the vehicle your car hit. So we could have done that instead, but I think uh, we're more shooting than ramming things with this car. Yes. So probably not not what we want to do. Uh, let's, let's see. Hire some crew. Let's hire some crew. We got four points for crew. Uh, so our crew, we start off by default. If we don't spend any points, we've got a rookie driver which is just a driver, he doesn't have anything, he can take three hits of damage, and a rookie gunner. Again, no special abilities, he can take three hits of damage. And we also get a hand cannon, which is just a, this is a sidearm, so the crew, each of the crew has whatever sidearms that you give them, or whatever equipment you give them. Uh, this is a zero point uh, sidearm. It has uh, three blue dice that you roll for it, and it is a side arc fire only, which means it can only shoot out the left or the right of the car. Uh, this can be this can be uh, one of the crew's two shots. They can use their sidearms instead of a, a car weapon if they want to, or if they've got none left. 
Gotcha. Um, this is not more of a last addition. resort usually. Usually, this is not in addition to the the two shots they get with the car. The crew gotcha. gets to fire twice uh, of any one given weapon. Now, a lot of times it's last ditch, or in in the case of the um, the uh, rookie rally we did, uh, those cars were five points total. Yeah, we so, didn't have a lot of weaponry going around. So the the, the crew did have uh, uh, they had some upgraded uh, sidearms that uh, were about as good, almost as good as the stuff they had on the outside of their car. So once the stuff on the outside got ripped off, they were using them pretty heavily. Uh, so we've got four points. Four points. So we can, say, uh, upgrade each of them to an amateur, or we could leave one at an amateur and put one in a veteran. What do you feel Ooh, like? Let's do both of an amateur. Let's both just amateurs. Both amateurs. Uh, there's also some other crew equipment. We could give them flak jackets, holographic sights, that sort of thing. But I think we're just going to go with the crew on this one specifically. So... And what does that give us? That Our, am our amateur driver costs us two. Uh, so during the take control step, uh, he's going to take a control marker and an ace token. Oh, wow. Uh, so he's basically, he's good enough that he gets a free ace token each round and a free extra control token That's each really round. awesome. So the amateur driver is, is a pretty good upgrade. Uh, he still takes three shots. Our amateur gunner, uh, he's two points. And when you, the gunner, when the gunner attacks, you may re-roll two dice. That's awesome, too. So... Uh, yep. So the crew equipment is called gear it's to separate it out from the car uh, equipment. So um, the gear they've got right now is just this hand cannon. Yeah, and we're not going to change anything else on it. Yeah. So this is our four points for crew, but uh, that's pretty good. I mean, but it, it, that does reinforce uh, why you need to call out when you're making an attack. My driver is shooting the the uh, rocket at somebody, and my gunner is shooting the machine gun because the gunner is going to get re those two re rolls. Exactly. Um, and then you can also add that one die for the interface for one of your shots each round for the uh, targeting computer. There you go. Um, so that right there is our 16 point car. We've got a an amateur crew, which are actually some pretty good upgrades. Yeah, those are really good. Um, we've got a pair of one shot rockets, one on each side which can fire out the sides of our car. Mm -hmm. We've also got a, a uh, recoilless, light recoilless rifle on each side of our car to get some shots off those directions. Uh, we've got a, on the front, we didn't add a second weapon. We ended up uh, not doing that, but yeah. we've got the uh, heavy machine gun on the front, so we've got some really punchy stuff. And we still have a targeting um, rifle, that, or target computer to add an extra. We've got the target computer and uh, the gunner, so yeah. uh, if the gunner is doing that, he's going to get some rerolls, he's going to get the targeting computer. I think that's still pretty good out the front. Yeah. Um, and if we can get two arcs on somebody, we can shoot the front and the side at them. And then to discourage tailgating, we've got a flamethrower on the back, if they're uh, close up behind us. We've got that targeting computer, and then uh, on three sides, we've got some light ceramic plate, which will soak two damage each. And on the front, we've got a, a standard steel plate, which will soak two damage, and also give us an extra die of damage, an extra defense die to roll when we're being attacked on the front side. So when we're pointing that big gun at people, We've got a little bit more defense. There you go. Yeah, we pretty much have eight extra damage that we can take that just for based on our, our structures, right. which is very good. So it, it's a it may we may be outgunned a little bit for some things, but um, we're a relatively defensive car, uh, so I think we should be able to hold out. We've got some pretty punchy weapons between the, the machine gun on the front and those one shot rockets. If we play our cards right when we use them, uh, we can get some pretty good hits off. I, I think. think so. Uh, our driver is going to keep us moving around pretty well. Uh, we don't have any other upgrades on our car. There are other, there are other uh, uh, accessories that would be suspension and things like that that would give us better control. But I think we're just going to rely on our driver's skill and not going, not going nuts on maneuvers to keep control of this. Yeah, particular if we had an car. amateur driver, I'd feel a little worried. But I think with the uh, your rookie or yeah. rookie, well, the yeah. rookie driver, yeah, yeah, I'd feel a little more worried. Uh, so, so Chad, do you guys have any questions about the car we've built here, um, or did any come in while we were talking about all that? That's nope, the control room. Nope. Well, uh, if you do have any questions, just hit us up in chat, and uh, Brandon, I'm sure, will poke us and let us know what you got something. But I think now we're going to move on to building our own right. cars, right? So, so yeah, and that was, uh, we sit here and ex explain a lot of stuff and, and, and talk to you a little bit, but uh, 20 minutes, we walked through an entire, like, how all these work, their options, and built the car. Um, most of the time, it's going to take you 10 minutes, 5 to 10 yeah. minutes for yourself to just go, oh, yeah, I want to do this this time. Um, so... Now that you guys have seen how it works, we're going to be doing a game. We're going to be filming a game to for another Kickstarter uh, video uh, shortly after this. Uh, it's going to be a game on the Wastelands map. Okay. So we are going to be dealing with some terrain modifiers, Ooh. which are going to cause us to uh, have uh, lose some extra control. 
Um, so Hunter and I are going to be, probably be uh, playing against each other here, and we're going to have you guys help us design a car. Um, so I believe we are on uh, YouTube and Twitch Live right now. So if you guys uh, can uh, start suggesting ideas for cars, like you've seen the types of weapons, so do you want us to go uh, fire? Do you want us to go heavy rockets? Are we going like all guns in the front? What was the point build? The point build for, I think we're going to go with 12. 12 points. So it'll be close to what we had here, a little less, we have a little less options in our driving yeah. and we'll have, our armor. We'll have three armor, we'll have three crew, so we won't, we won't be able to get both of those crew guys. Um, and uh, we'll have a few, a little bit fewer options, so it won't be able to be quite this good of a car. Uh, so get some ideas on uh, what you think we should build, and uh, we'll, you want to start with your car, Hunter? I mean, we can kind of build it simultaneously, but yeah, we'll, well we got one. Start. We got one uh, dashboard that oh, they can see out yeah, here. That's true. That's true. Uh, so yeah, we'll we'll start so, with mine. I got so some. My let me pull these here. off because these are all the cards out of my deck, and and we don't want to mix these prototype decks up because we're gonna have to use them a lot. The um, chat is wondering if there's metal armor, and can you build a Rammy car? So the, what I put on the front was a steel plate. Um, so that that is uh, that is metal armor. There are a lot of types of sort of metal structure. Armor is just the value of straight on the side. But yeah, there are metal. There are various versions. You can build a a more ram centered car. Like we said, we had those bumper spikes that I showed you guys, which add a little more damage. There's a safety cage that actually gives you a defense roll uh, when you're in a collision to possibly avoid some of that damage. Um, so you can build uh, heavier structure on one side to soak more of the damage when you are in a collision. Both both players in that collision take the same amount of damage by default until you start modifying it with other equipment. We've got two suggestions. One is for for the off road car. How about a control shedding vehicle that destroys your opponent's control? Okay. Someone else says, how about blast and fire? So that okay. Well, that doesn't need control. That kind of works together. So so let's 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 look at those plans. So uh, with. Uh, Control shedding, so we're looking at stuff that add. What we're going to look for if we're going off road, something that we something we probably want to keep control, and we also want them to lose control. So right. we want blast weapons, and we probably want a decent driver, right? Because uh, we are going to be off road. That is something that we got to keep in mind. So uh, right off the bat, uh, let's find some blast stuff. Uh, so I know, as as I know for low point values, you've got a, a one shot firecracker that's in there. I do see that, um, and that's another. But that is a. Uh, that only gets you the one, right? That's not like the rocket where you get multiples of the same one. Yeah, the the uh, the, the firecracker is just a single, I believe. So definitely want. I'm gonna get some rockets. I would definitely want a rocket. Okay. Like that is right out of the gate something that I'm interested in because that's get for three points. I'm gonna get two effectively two one shots out of it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so let's let's grab one of those or two of those, I guess. Standard rockets. Uh, we'll figure out a side to put those on in just a moment. Um, I'm seeing what else we got in the terms of blast here. So again, we don't have every card. We're not using every single card in here. Yeah, I think um, we're working with. It looks like uh, I see core. I see expansion one. I see uh, expansion two and three. So I think we're working with core one, two, and three on this one. And I got um, firecracker. So those are those are a couple of our options as far as. Uh, oh, and I see the armory as well. As far as shedding some uh, shedding some control. Uh, so if I'm trying to get people to shed control, I want to try to. Fire, get a get them get those get the damage on them essentially. Yeah. So odds are they're going to be in my front. I'm probably going to put both of the rockets on the front of the car here. Okay. And maybe put a firecracker on each side. Uh, so that could be a thought. Um, let's do that. Let's put the firecrackers one on each side, and then we'll put two. So that's that's five points. I've got seven points left over. All right. Uh, I'm probably going to use the driver that gets me more control. So I'm not going to put a lot of upgrades that deal with control. Uh, I'm probably going to go more offensive because these are that's a lot of one shot weapons. It uh, is. So we definitely want some non one shot, something that will permanently be on my um, on my car here. Uh, one thing I could do, uh, I could do a bigger weapon and just have one of them, or I can do a couple of smaller weapons. So what, Chad? What do you think? Should Hunter do do uh, aside from his one shot? Should he do one big weapon or a few smaller ones? They did mention fire. I could throw a flamethrower on the back. So fire uh, is is actually uh, deceptively is a control shedding weapon. You might not know it off the top of your head. That's but, true. But yeah. What happens with when you when you catch on fire? If a fire result comes up, the armor marker on that side gets flipped over to show that side of your car is on fire. Uh, what happens then is at the there's a phase in the turn order 
uh, after we take control, it's called manage fires. And at that point, you have to choose whether you're going to let each fire burn and take a point of damage from each one, or if you're going to spend two control and put the fire out. Um, so if you're on fire, especially if you're on fire on multiple sides, that's going to eat away at your control at the beginning of the turn pretty rapidly uh, and not leave you a lot to work with uh, once you get down to the actual driving part of the turn. Gotcha. Um, so, so that actually, between explosives and fire, that is a pretty control shedding uh, well, setup. Well, you know there. what? If it's good on one side, it's good on the other. Now, you do have a range limit on those. You're going to have to get close. Yeah, we'll have to get kind of close on those, but... I feel okay about that. Uh, so that so does sorry. only leave us with one point that's left. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no, no, that's right. I was counting. Chad the was rockets. suggesting that the control car get uh, off-road suspension. Okay, I think that makes sense. You gonna try to keep some yourself, or are you gonna? How'd you say? Are you gonna? You want to spend the points on the off-road suspension, or are you gonna uh, do it for? I could do so. I could so that gives There's, me three. I have three points left over essentially so, right now. Uh, there is a dynamic suspension. Uh, it would cost. It's an accessory that would cost you two, if you wanted mm, it. No, I'm gonna go with a permanent gun on the front here. Okay. So that would be two. So mm, yeah, let's do two. And since we have one point left over, I could throw a piece of ceramic plate. Oh no, I can actually throw a. Uh, uh, what was the firing interface? Was that what we used on the other uh, car? The, the fire, no, the other car was the targeting computer. Um, oh, I'm going to do a firing inf interface because this lets me re-roll a die. Okay. And I'm not going to have the driver that lets me re-roll a die. So this will be a good, useful... I'm going to put that on the back. Okay. Uh, because that's a... Uh, so let's check that. We've got three armor on each side because we're doing a 12-point game. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got three points for your two rockets. Yep. Four, five for your standard machine gun. Six, seven for this flamethrower, eight for that firecracker, nine, ten for that flamethrower, eleven for that firecracker, twelve for your advanced firing interface. Yep. And so essentially, this is the don't get behind me car because I have nothing. To yeah, you're gonna want you're gonna want to keep me out from yeah. behind you. So that's gonna be a problem. But that that's a uh, we're set on the car. So let's take a look at the. You got three yeah. points of crew now. Let's see. So first off, I definitely want the amateur driver. He gets me an extra ace token. He gets me an extra control token. That seems great. Uh, we're going to go with a rookie gunner because there's not a one-point gunner I can change up to. So that's two points. Uh, I can do my hand cannon. And I think I'm going to use a piece of gear. We were talking about gear. We didn't really get to use any in the last one. So let me see what we got gear-wise here. Uh, I am going to go with a, you know what, a holographic sight on that gun. Which gets me an additional die, a uh, blue die to roll if I'm within... Two car lengths. Right. There you go. And and both of your crew has has that sidearm and that sight. Oh, uh, actually, no, I like this better. The flak jacket. Let's do the flak jacket. It keeps me alive longer. And considering where I'm at uh, with the armory here, I feel like I'm going to have to stay alive a little bit longer. All right. Chat, are you happy with, with that car you've helped Hunter built for shedding, shedding off the control and everything? Any more, any more suggestions on there? I think any we're maxed changes? out. So. Uh, we're, we're maxed out. They might say, no, you really need to... But, I think uh, we're pretty good with that one, guys. Yeah, thanks. All right, seems good. So go ahead and pull that deck off to the side because we'll need to remember it oh, yeah. uh, for the, the thing we're about to do in a little bit here. And I mean, now we got another simple. car to build, uh, opposing that one, which is designed to pull all of our control away through explosions and fire. So don't take anything uh, that gives you extra control. I would hate that. Well, this is exactly what I was thinking about doing. I was, <laughs> I was thinking about building a, a high maneuverability car designed for off-roading. Oh, well, see, that's um, smart. I, I the, other, that. the other option, chat, would be um, we just don't get near him, <laughs> and we get some, some weapons and things that will help us uh, reroll so we can do a lot of long-range attacks at him. So do I go for the... The off-roading uh, extra control car, or do I go for the long shots and just stay away from him? Uh, I think you should make sure you get really close. Really close to those flamethrowers and that. Chat, that, make sure Jimmy gets that, really uh, close. Holographic sight pay off for you. Yes. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, yeah. Normally, everybody builds independently. You don't see what happened, what someone's doing before you build yours. Uh, we're doing this for fun, so you guys can help us build and counter build against each other. Um, but normally everybody builds off on the side, then when everybody's done, you go look at each other's cars and see uh, how bad it's going to be for you. Um, Chad is suggesting a sniper car. Here Chad wants sniper. the sniper car, okay. Mm -hmm. So for the sniper car then, uh, let's see. Uh, we're probably going to want the upgraded gunner rather than the upgraded driver then. 
that makes sense. Um, yeah, make sure. I, I don't want any extra control in this car. <laughs> they said sniper, not controlling sniper. <laughs> they did say it. Uh, <laughs> there's the rookie. Where did I put? Where did I put that upgraded uh, gunner? He's over here somewhere. Well, we'll, do, we'll get to him in a second. We're going to be taking the upgraded gunner when we get to the crew. Uh, so for sniping, we want some some good long range stuff. Um, One thing to note, I guess, with range, I mentioned it in the video on Monday, but there's, unless it says otherwise, there's not a maximum range on something. Right, there's not a maximum range. There are for for every like uh, and stuff like that. Yeah, but but there is uh, for every two car lengths away, for every one of these uh, turning keys away, you are. Uh, you get a reroll for distance. Yeah. Uh, the defender gets to reroll one of his defense dice exactly. for distance. Um, so what we're going to want to make sure is that uh, we have we don't use any short range weapons on this car, and we want them to be really punchy weapons. So even if you are getting those rerolls, um, that you've got a lot of damage to block. Sure. So what I'm thinking, this says sniper. Uh, so we're not going to be chewing you up. We're going to be doing. Uh, we want some big, big chunks. Big chunks coming at you. So the biggest gun we could put on here would be cost five. Hopefully. Um, so what do we have at cost five? Because we're building in the slow, the, the uh, low point range. What do we have at cost? Hunter needs to shoot that. That's a you. that's a shred. Hey, look, there's a Gauss cannon, um, and uh, we could possibly use that. That's a five point slug weapon. Chet has asked for a Gauss cannon or a laser. Gauss oh, cannon or a laser? Let me see. What do I have for a lasers? Pulse laser. I've got a pulse laser. So let's look uh, for pulse laser. It's two built-in damage, one red, two yellows. The defender gets two fewer rerolls for range when you attack with this weapon. I like that, chat. I don't like that. Uh, what's the Gauss weapon? Gauss weapon is uh, two built-in, two reds, a blue, and two yellows. Two whites. Uh, two whites, sorry. Uh, but no special effects. I think the but you know, I like the, uh, if we're sniping, let's snipe with that laser. I like Seems that. Good. Make sure put it on the back of your car. I don't oh yeah, yeah, no, me. absolutely. We're putting that. We're not gonna put that in the back of the car, Hunter. Oh man, but see now it's on the front of your car. You're gonna have to be aimed at me coming at me. That's true. You know what? You know what I'm gonna do. Um, the front and back are smaller firing arcs than the sides are. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that on our right side and try to keep that side pointed towards you. The old broadsides and boarding parties. I like yep. it. Yep. Yep. So that's five of our 12 points. We got seven more points for this car. Uh, <laughs> I feel like uh, you've invested a lot in this weapon. We, it's, it's one shot, one kill is what we're going for, right? It's a sniper, that's true. right? So, so the chat wants me to try to snipe you, so that's what we're going to go for. One laser, one uh, zorch. One laser, one zorch. So we can't do another five points because that would leave us almost nothing. Uh, oh, I so like it though. <laughs> let's go down a little bit and see what else we can do. Uh, a Gauss um, kid. That's crazy how this just appeared. <laughs> hey, look. Um, look Gauss kid. <laughs> so let's see. Three. What do we have for two pointers? Because we can get a couple two pointers out there. We can get some uh, recoilless rifles out there. Um, those aren't bad. They've got some built-in damage. So, uh, so it seems like what you're going for are more like slug type weapons, things that are de dealing with automatic damage and then hoping to add more on top of it. Yeah, yeah. So let's see, fine. Six, I don't like that particularly just because it's not 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 great for me. Uh, let's do this. Let's lack let's, of armor. <laughs> that's that's one weapon. Let's also let's do let's make sure the front is also good. So we have like two options here. Um, not. so we'll put the jackhammer on the front, I think. This is um, another big weapon. Uh, so it's a, a slug weapon that does three built in damage and one black die. Ah, I see. So that, that one's going to be pretty consistent at three, three built-in damage. Huh? Three built-in damage. It's a lot of built-in damage. And then and then one black die, which is not a lot of extra damage actually, because the black die is mostly it's mostly results. tire stuff. So it's probably just going to be a three damage shot. I don't know if that's enough. I um, think it's enough. I, th I feel like you've we could succeeded. go down to the we could go down to a standard recoilless rifle, have less guaranteed damage, but possibly bigger bursts of damage on there. Um, we got two on the reds and three on the yellows. So. I mean, theoretically more, uh, but it's probably going to end up being more. Let's go with that. a reliable. Let's go with a reliable damage, chat. What do you think? Chat wonders if there's a rail gun. A Maybe rail put gun. Put the Gauss cannon on the side. <laughs> rail guns. Let's see what we've got. Jackhammer, bone. No, bone saw is really close. More recoilless rifles. That's a. Uh, we got an anti-tank gun. That's expensive. Uh, it sounds uh, like so. What I'm getting from chat here, though, is that they want two big, big. Boys. They want two big boys on it the car. Sounds like they want two big boys. I don't think they're. I don't think this is enough. The jackhammer is not enough. I 
All right, so um, we, I don't, in the decks we've got, I don't see a railgun that's five points or less. So uh, I think, uh, ah, I yeah. See. yeah. So, so off camera, they're telling us the railgun's probably outside of our low point values, which is why we don't have any of them in our deck. Which so, makes sense. So we but, could go for the we could go for the jackhammer, which is a, a three point slug weapon. There is the the I think the gauss the, cannon is what what's being called for here. I think they've outright said they want a gauss. They cannon. want the gauss cannon. They want the gauss cannon. All right, so chat wants chat wants the gauss cannon. So we'll it's, pull the jackhammer back. <laughs> uh, gauss cannon on the front or the other side? I think the front. We need something. You got something on the front, right? Yeah. We'll, we'll turn it sideways here so you guys can Chad see the whole card. says if we have enough offense, we don't need defense. That's a <laughs> good point. Got it. Stay out of range. So that's 10 of our 12 points. Um, <laughs> those two got, guns. Those two guns are 10 of our 12 points. Uh, we want to make sure they hit, guys, right? Um, or they can hit harder. Um, or so they can hit. Two Chad, Chad wants all offense, no defense. We'll give it to him. So I think all let's, let's do both. Um, with our two remaining points... Let's take the advanced firing interface so we get once per attack, we can reroll a die. That's what I took. Uh, and one. let's also take the targeting computer uh, so that every time we, want, for one attack a turn, we can add an extra die to it. Seems good. So, so Chad, that's, this is our car. It has a lot less than Hunter's car does. Uh, I agree. We've got a pulse laser and a gauss cannon. No extra maneuvering. Uh, a targeting computer and an advanced firing interface that will, uh, you know, we'll put this on the back. Um, so beyond that, we're down to crew, because uh, we don't have anything else. So for crew... <laughs> you don't have anything else. We that's don't have, very true. We, well, that's what we got. Uh, <laughs> no, we're not... The, so for crew, I think... Um, we're, getting, we're getting calls for same side for all the weaponry. Be, because we have uh, no defense... Uh, or a crew's going to get some flak jackets, I think. That's what mine did. Um, I feel probably like, a good idea. I feel like now that I've seen your weapons, I'm very happy I took a flak jacket. Uh, probably so. Uh, the question now for, for chat is, do we double down and spend our remaining two crew points on the gunner that gets two, two re-rolls? Because we've already got one re-roll and one thing. Or do we give our driving ability a little bit and get some extra control from the amateur and a focus from the amateur driver. Jimmy, I think we know the answer to this question. I, I feel th like you already I think know. I know but I'm going to ask him anyway. Is, <laughs> Chat, you know what to say here. Is do we want the all the, killer, no filler? This car needs to just destroy. This is. I feel like Chet is uh, is directing my car a lot heavier than they directed your car. <laughs> uh, gunner. Gunner. <laughs> of course they did. Where is Thank my you, Where Chad. is my amateur gunner? I got to find him here. He's uh, hiding was, away here. Hit me a part of the stack. I'll, I'll find it. I'll oh, I think it. it was in the. There he is. He's hiding under. Uh, so they're going to get the flak jacket, the hand cannon, the rookie driver, and the amateur comes. gunner. Hot. So, so what we're looking at here, uh, just the armor, no structure. This is a a, a unarmor, unstructured light. Sniper car we built. So we've got one pulse laser. We've got one Gauss cannon. Pulse laser on the right, Gauss cannon on the front. Uh, a targeting computer, an advanced firing interface, and a uh, amateur gunner. So we get uh, three re rolls a turn, right? The gunner gets three re rolls. Oh yeah. Uh, the driver will also get a re roll, one re roll for the advanced firing interface, and one, uh, of, them one of them can add an extra die. Nice. Uh, and we've got the hand cannon on the side. So that is, we've got sniper car versus uh, con control shedding car. Well, well you got a lot of ordnance and fire over I there. I feel like I'm going to get shot with a laser once per turn and then also a handgun right after it. <laughs> like, hoping to shoot through the hole. Well, ideally, I'll be able to keep you on the 45 so I can get both arcs on you ideally, and fire both of those in ideally, one turn. Ideally, I'm not going to let that happen. <laughs> Uh, now, that will be interesting because neither of us has any extra control and we are working on the wasteland maps where we're going to be driving off-road. It's going to be interesting. So it'll be interesting. Uh, so that's what we've got. Chat, are you guys happy with the tar two cars you've created for us for the next video? Any, I'm happy. any other questions? I, you know, I really want to see the big booms that are going to come I'm this. scared of and, and the I I And really like it can light me on fire. The two fewer rerolls no for range. No rerolls, essentially. Less rerolls. 
I mean, that means I can I can go like three or four away. You still only get yeah, two rerolls. Yeah, really, a lot less rerolls, and then automatic damage and possibility of fire. It's yeah, not none of that's cool. I, I like that. I don't it's, like any of uh, it. Not a fan. And and you're way away from your uh, flamethrowers over there. It's not cool. Chat says yes. Bring the carnage. Bring the carnage. Cool. There's definitely going to be some carnage going on. I think. So this video uh, will be a recorded one that'll be edited and everything. So we'll have that on the Kickstarter. It'll be. It'll come up on the Kickstarter later on. Uh, the laser is delicate. Yeah, is, that is true. The laser can only take one hit uh, oh, of wow. damage before it goes away. Um, which I didn't notice before. So <laughs> don't get shot we, on that. We side probably either. should have put some armor, some structure on that probably side. Probably should have. But uh, we didn't. So, Yikes. we will hopefully uh, not I mean, get hit. If if it turns out he needs some armor there or some structure, we might cut one of the things and just drop a piece of structure. Chat on it. wants what chat wants. Chat wants what chat wants. Okay, that's what we'll, you called it. We'll we'll, we'll we'll make that. Sure. And uh, if it goes away, it just means I'm going to get you in the front with the Gauss cannon. Fair enough. Well, yeah, so keep an eye out for that video whenever we post that. It'll be on the Kickstarter, which, again, Kickstarter is live now. So. Kickstarter is live now. We are in week uh, two. We're in week two. Week By two. Friday, we'll start week three of the Kickstarter. Uh, we are in stretch goal territory, so go ahead get on there. If you haven't backed it yet, uh, check it out. Look at the uh, background as you feel like you want to get in on. Notice we have three levels of bonus rewards that are going on. The ace, uh, the rookie, the ace, and the double ace. So the pledges have those built in, and those are where a lot of our stretch goals are getting added into. Yep. Uh, if you've got questions, go ahead and post them here on the video, or go over to the Kickstarter and ask us there. Um, and if yep. Chad doesn't have anything else for us, we'll see you in the next video. That's uh, been Car Creation with uh, for Car Wars 6 Edition. So hopefully you guys learn how this goes together. And this is basically what happens before you hit the table. We've been here for uh, about 40 minutes, and we created three cars. Yeah, it's um, pretty and easy. that was with a lot of uh, telling you, with reading all the cards out to you guys and everything else. So like you see, it comes together pretty quickly once you uh, make a decision or have other people decide for you what you're going to be building. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, guys. See you later. We'll see you later.